change my name. All right, so um, Catherine requested uh, painting the cornucopia basket and I've um, placed uh, and the placement and the shape of the horn. So here's my um, photo, um, not photo, uh, drawing that I um, have. I took it from uh, finecoloringpages.com. I'm going to put this underneath my rice paper to help guide me. And this is a demo, so it's not going to uh, come out with a composition. We're just going to learn how to uh, do this technique. All right, so I've lined it up here. My paper is bigger than the uh, drawing, so that's good. We're going to put it asymmetrically. So if you wanted to um, make it into a composition, that would be great. Position a little bit so that I could just get the horns. Okay, so here's that round shape. And I'm using my fingernail too to help me, right? Just tracing a semicircle out from it. And then it goes from wide to narrow and it turns like a crescent roll, right? The ones that you get from Pillsbury Poppin' Fresh, or if you have a croissant that you get from your local bakery in there. So here it looks braided. I'm taking my um, ink and I'm just going to make some upright strokes with my a flow brush. And they start right there. So from here, I'm going to press wider, narrow, press wider, narrow, press wider. Okay. And then they're going to get longer as we go out to the nine o'clock on the clock. Now press wider. Perspective does that to our eyes. You see that we're getting that shape. And these baskets are all handmade. So if you don't um, do it exactly perfectly, that's great because it'll look like animal handmade. All right, so on my image below, I have grapes that overlap here. And so I'm going to honor that. All right, so that's that. And over here on my um, above, I have corn. So I can skip here and put a piece of fruit, a flower, or whatever. And I'm going to continue this pattern like that. But remember that that's it's this shape, and then maybe a little bit down here. Press and turn. Okay, this pattern here of the horn is different from the pattern of the circle, and um, I'm going to use side strokes for that. So I'm going to take out some of my ink from the heel and just. So I have medium ink and dark ink. And underneath here, you can see that that's wider and longer, right? Then we get there. So I'm going to press more here to get that big side stroke. You can do it this way, because this way I don't have to do a backhand. Let me see if I can get more contrast for you there. Ink is uh, really dark. And there we go. See that? And there's your shape. So if you want to define that shape, you can just take your black ink and come in and Make sure we see that pattern. If we want to round, make that look round, 
here is going to be lighter because the light's going to hit it over here. It's going to be darker. And over here is going to be lighter. This is going to be darker. A lot of shadow here. And if we want to emphasize each of those um, markings like this, you can come in with the upright brush and do some outline strokes. Like that, okay. And there's our basket. <laughs> Let's do another pattern, okay. I'm gonna take the, take this out and paint simple pattern here. This one, I said this was some upright and this was cross, right? So this is vertical and that's horizontal. So if we have another horn here, I'm just gonna draw it in a horn. Can everybody see that? This would be my horn. And there's that circle, right? To get this part, I start at the, what we call the point where uh, the horizon is, right? And just do lines like this. And then the ones that would cross, they would mimic this shape, rounded, and they would be wider. So I'd split my brush open a little bit and press and hesitate slightly where I come to these other um, these strokes coming the opposite direction. As I said, they don't have to be done perfectly because these baskets are handmade, lucky us, right? We can make them look a little rustic. And so on, so on, so forth. If I want to say, oh, I need another line here, I can just go paint that in as long as I follow that shape. There you go. Okay, there's a basket. Everybody control them. All right, thank you. I'm going to be uh, painting. Uh, Pumpkin for Catherine. Here's my pumpkin. Can we see that? Yeah, this one. Okay, baby pumpkin. And when it's done, it'll look like so. I'm loading my brush with some yellow, and my palette got dry. I'm spraying my colors. You want to make sure that you load your brush very well and that your, uh, your colors are not watery. This is kind of watery because it got dry. I'm being careful not to uh, use that water down there, but the edges here. And then dipping it into orange so that I have yellow orange and then I'm going to tip it with orange red because I have three different tones okay and then I'm going to blend my brush and then come in with a little bit of brown 
because the pumpkin has uh, segments to them. Okay, and here's I'm going to sketch a pumpkin. So it's got a stem, and then it's got kind of that shape. It's got segments. Like that, right? So, in order to get those segments, we need a darker tone, and we're going to use a side brush. I'm going to start in the center here. Press, and I'm going to do a parenthesis, the same shape on the other side with my back hand. My tip is going to be to the outside. That's going to get the darker tone. And here's where the center is. Press like that. It's going to be slightly weird color. Pumpkin. And again, wide. Press. It's going to be narrower here. There. And that's my pumpkin. Okay. Finish it off like this. Dip it into brown ink and brown paint, rather. Paint the stem. Okay. There's my multicolored. Pumpkin. We want to do it bigger. Let's do a, just an orange one. Orange colored pumpkin. A little bit of brown at the edge. Okay. So again, start in the center right here with my brush. That's where the stem would be. Side stroke. Press parenthesis to get the other one, the mirror stroke. Press, I'm gonna hold it down so that the tip will create that line there. If it doesn't, come in and help it out. Next one slightly smaller. Press. Press. Next one smaller, press. Press while it's still wet. And we got that nice highlight. I like that, so I don't want to obliterate that. So I can come in with my brown a little bit to get that segment. And stem. There's my pumpkin. Oh no, stop. Mm -hmm. 